So to write this in a matrix, I'm just going to write the coefficients. This guy has a 1. I want to write this one on top because I like a 1 being in that upper corner. It doesn't matter which order they gave me these equations in, so I can do whatever I like. So I'm going to put this one in first, put the 1 there nice and pretty. 1, 5, and then a 2, and then a 5, a negative 2 with an answer of negative 44. So it's augmented, dotted line separates the coefficients from that answer column. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use that first row to get zeros in the first column. So we're aiming for that zero first, and we're going to use the first column to get it. So what I'm going to do is if I were to just multiply this whole first column by a negative 5 and add it to that, negative 5 plus 5 would give me zero, like I want. So negative 5 plus 5 is 0, negative 25 minus 2 is negative 27, negative 10 minus 44 is negative 54. Now, in this, now that I have that, I'm going to yank this out of the matrix as soon as I can. Just remember, this was my x's, this was my y's, and this was my answers. So this last row means that 0x minus 27y equals negative 54. So negative 27y should be negative 54, divided by negative 27y should be 2. Hop back up to this equation, this is x, 5y equals 2, x plus 5y equals 2, and we know y is 2, so plug that in. So x plus 5 times 2 is 2, so x plus 10 is 2, so x is negative 8. So your answer, if you wrote it as an ordered pair, x is negative 8, y is 2, you can plug that back into both of these equations and it should make both equations true.